بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو کور آن ٹیوٹرنگ ڈاٹ کام انشاءاللہ ان نمبر ٹو ڈیس کلاس ویر گوئنگ ٹو لرن دا رولز آف مددہ لیٹرز ایٹ ایس ویری امپورٹنٹ رول اور وی شوڈ لیسن ویری کیر فولی سو لیٹ می سٹارٹ دا مددہ لیٹرز ہاو منی مددہ لیٹرز دو وی ہیو نمبر وان دا ور فرسٹ ہنٹ ایس اور دا تیر آر تری مددہ لیٹرز الف مددہ second one is wow madda and third one is ya madda what is the alif madda what is the wow madda and what is the ya madda inshallah uh, we'll, in, in, uh, we'll learn all of the all of the related rules uh, one by one what are the madda letters what are the uh, situation of the madda letters and what we need to do if madda letters come so uh, as i discussed earlier number one is alif madda so uh, let, uh, let's move on the next page and uh, learn what is the alif madda alif madda the definition is when there is alif and alif has uh, no any movement or symbol upon it and the letter before alif has fatha on it is called alif madda so uh, as uh, i read here uh, when there is alif so i can see in the example there is a alif after the ha but uh, as i mentioned and alif do not have any of movement upon it so there is no any movement on alif but letter before alif has uh, fatha on it so it, it will it will be alif madda so this alif is alif madda this is the uh, condition of al- alif madda uh, there is no any movement upon it and the letter before of alif has fatha in some t- in some time there will be a, uh, only letter has fatha Uh, it it cannot be alif madda because uh, there is no alif madda so there should be a proper alif but without any movement let's suppose if uh, uh, if we put uh, any movement upon it like a fatha hamza fatha it's going to be kha a so it's this is it will not be alif madda in uh, alif madda alif should be without any movement and the letter before alif has uh, movement uh, there should be a movement of fatha so uh, this is the this is this was the example and uh, uh, what we'll do if madda letters uh, if alif madda come so whenever there would be alif madda come then we must need to do uh, then we must need to prolong the letter equal to one alif or one second so like kha alif fatha kha ba alif fatha ba jim alif fatha ja this was the some example a ma lahum so this was the, uh, the uh, this was the definite this was the definition and also uh, function uh, uh, was the al- was the alif madda so let's move on the next page our second madda letter is wow madda when there is wow and wow has a sakun on it and the letter before wow sakin has a zamma on it is called wow madda let's see an example when there will be a wow yes we, uh, there is a wow and wow has a sakun this is the symbol uh, of sakun and uh, we always sakun we always used uh, we always uh, use the sakun for uh, joining the two letters so when there will be uh, when this symbol whenever sakun uh, will be on the wow we'll check the letter before if the letter before a wow has a zamma on it it will be wow madda but if it has uh, any of uh, other movement like a fatha it will not be alif ma- it, it will not be wow madda so for the wow madda there should be a wow sakin and before the wow sakin uh, there should be a uh, zamma on the la- on zamma on the letter like this like this uh, word kha wow zamma khu ba wow zamma bu noon wow zamma nu we can take any of letter so uh, when uh, this uh, when uh, when wow madda come then we'll apply the same rule we need to do uh, we need to prolong the letter for wow equal to one second or one alif khu bu ma kul so this this was some uh, the example of the wow madda so let's uh, move on the third page yeah our next madda next madda letter next or last madda letter is ya madda when there is a ya and ya has sakun on it this is the symbol of sakun as i explained earlier in the on the second page and uh, on the letter before of ya sakin has kasra it is called uh, ya madda 
Ya sakin mean whenever a ya come with sakun. Whenever letter has sakun on it, it's called a sakin letter. Let's suppose uh, we have ba with sakun, so it will be ba sakin. Similarly, when jim will come, will become with the sakun, it's called jim sakin. So here we need a ya sakin. So when there will be ya sakin, we'll check the letter before. If the letter before ya sakin has kasra, it like this word, it will be ya madda. So uh, we'll apply the same rule. Uh, we'll, we'll do pro we'll pro we'll do prolong the letter equal to one alif or one second. Like kha ya kisra khi noon ya kisra ni lam ya kisra li tar mi him. So in the ya madda in the rule of ya madda there should be a ya sakin and the before ya sakin there should be a kasra below the letter if the previous letter has fatha or any other movement so it will it will not be ya madda so in the for the ya madda there should be a uh, ya sakin and the letter before ya sakin there should be a kasra so as i explained earlier we'll apply the same rule we always uh, do pro we'll always uh, do, we'll always prolong the uh, every madda letter equal to one second if anybody is not doing prolong if uh, it means uh, uh, they're doing mistake so um, make sure when we we'll, uh, when there will be a uh, ya madda or if madda or pao madda in quran uh, we'll do prolong otherwise it will be a proper mistake so should be very careful and uh, this was uh, the all the rules about the yamadda inshallah we'll carry on uh, in the next class with uh, some more rules till then assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh